Hi friends, welcome to Garfin's Creation. Let's make some croissants today. The recipe for it is in the description box below. To begin with, we will activate the dry yeast first. For that, I have taken half a cup 125 ml of lukewarm water. 2 tablespoons of sugar. Give it a stir. To this, add 1 teaspoon of instant dry yeast. I have used Angel brand yeast here. Mix it and leave it to rest so that it ferments for about 5 to 10 minutes. While the yeast gets activated, let's prepare the dry ingredients. I have taken 2 cups of maida or all-purpose flour. This is approximate 250 grams of all-purpose flour. It's always better to sieve the flour before use. And now once this is done, I'll be adding half a teaspoon of salt. Combine the salt and flour together and now to this I'll be adding one and half tablespoon of salted butter. Rub the butter into the flour till it is well combined. Keep squeezing it with your hands. The foam on top indicates that the yeast is activated. Add that into the flour and mix it well. It's better to activate the yeast and then put it into the flour as there would be chances your yeast would be dead and then the whole flour would go in waste. Once this is done, I'll be using little water and knead it into a very soft dough. I have used approximate 2-3 to three tablespoon of water to knead the dough. The dough has come together. Now I'll place it on the table and knead it for around 10-12 to 12 minutes. Use the stretch and fold method. Stretch and then pull back the dough and then again stretch. Continue doing this till the dough is nice, soft and smooth. This will take approximate 10 minutes. Once the dough is kneaded, tuck it inwards with the sides of your palm. And then place it into a bowl and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes at room temperature. After 20 minutes, you will find the dough has slightly risen. That is enough to make the croissants. Don't wait for the dough to double in size. Just wait for 20 minutes and then start the next process. I will divide the dough into 8 equal portions. Take each portion and now roll it into a small ball. Do the same for the rest of the portions too.
Once they are all done, now let's roll them into a fine chapati. We will be rolling all the eight into round chapatis and be layering them one over the other with some butter and flour. Keep dusting your table with some maida so the rolling becomes easier. After rolling, place it on a plate so it's easy to handle. This is approximate 80 grams of room temperature butter. Spread the butter over the first chapati. Apply a generous amount to get a more buttery croissants. Dust some all-purpose flour or maida over it and keep it aside for some time. We will be now layering all the eight chapatis in the same way as we had done with the first one. So now we will roll the next one and place it over the previous one. Place the roll chapati over the previous one and you can stretch it and pull it towards the sides and adjust it over the first chapati. Now again apply the butter and flour as we had done previously. Continue doing this for all the eight layers. And now this is the last chapati which I'll be placing over the rest of the layers. We do not have to apply any butter now on this one. Just adjust the sides and place a cling wrap over it. You can also use a silver foil or a plastic bag to wrap it. And now keep it in the fridge for 30 to 40 minutes till it's nice and little firm. After 40 minutes, our dough is nice and firm and the butter is all set. Dust your counter with some flour. Press it a little bit gently so all the layers spread well. And then I'll use a rolling pin and roll it into a large chapati, approximate 14 to 15 inches round. The last circle on my rolling mat is 14 inches. So I will roll it to around 14 to 15 inches round. You may notice one side of the chapati is smooth and the other side the layers can be seen. Just flip it over and start rolling where you can see the layers. This part of the croissants will be rolled inside and will not be visible outside. I have rolled it to around 15 inches round. Now using a pizza cutter I will divide it into triangles. Make small markings first and then cut through. Total, I will divide it into 12 triangles. You can also use a paper template and cut the triangles evenly. Now to shape it into a croissant, crescent shape, you can stretch the dough a little and the tip just press it so it sticks well at the end. 
Now gently roll it towards the tip with very light hands. And now place it onto a baking tray lined with parchment or butter paper. Let me show you once more. Stretch a little. And then roll towards the tip. You can leave it as it is or you can give it a little crescent shape by bending it towards the front. And now place it on the baking tray at a distance. This is a pizza tray used for baking pizza in the oven. I'll be placing a parchment paper and placing some croissants over it and showing you how to bake them over a stove too. All the croissants have been shaped now. I'll keep them in the tray to rise till they are double in size. I'll place a cling wrap and leave them at room temperature. The rising time will depend upon the temperature of your area where you live in. We just need to let it rise double in size. It took me an hour for the croissants to rise to this level. As you can see, they are well risen. For the milk wash, I have taken 1 tablespoon milk at room temperature and adding 1 teaspoon of honey into it. The honey will help to get a little darker shade of croissants while baking. You can also use an egg wash to get a more darker color. Brush them lightly with the honey and milk mixture. We do not want them to get deflated. So with gentle hands, just brush them with the milk. Preheat your oven at 200 degrees centigrade with both coils on for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, place the tray into the oven and bake for 10 minutes and then lower the temperature to 180 degrees and further bake till 5 minutes or the top is nice and golden brown. These I'll be baking over the stove, so let's get there. I have taken a large aluminum vessel and preheated it for the last 10 minutes. I've added some sand, that is sea sand over there and a tray on it. I have kept the flame on medium since I have added some sand in it. Now carefully place this tray over the ring stand and cover it with a lid and let it bake for around 10 minutes on medium flame. Lower the flame after 10 minutes and bake it further till it's a little bit brown. Baking over the stove won't give you much color over the croissants. So in between you can brush some honey over it to get a nice brown color. While this is getting baked, let me show you some of the croissants I've done in the past. This is cheese stuffed croissants. This is palak paneer croissants. This is extra buttery croissants. This is salami stuffed croissants. And this is garlic and cheese croissants. It took me around 20 minutes to bake the ones over the stove. The oven one took me around 17 minutes. I will now transfer them to a cooling rack. These are the oven ones which are baked and this ones were baked over the stove. There is not much color but it is well baked. These have been cooled and now cutting one to show you the inside of it. It's well baked inside and very soft. Hope you can see the round layers. These are simple buttery croissants. You can always add some cheese or chocolate inside it and bake them in the same way. Hoping you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and do like, share and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more upcoming recipes like these. 
meeting you soon in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.